Hello, my friends of Tri City Community Television. Welcome to our program. And today, I have a really surprise for you. You know, a lot of people is doing volunteer. We don't know what they are doing in our community, but today, Megan Chan is here to explain what she's doing in youth in action. Yes. Yes, youth in action. Welcome, Megan, to our program. Thank you for having me. It's a wonderful opportunity. So, tell me, how did you get involved in this uh, volunteering position? with this organization? Well, I was first introduced to it by a teacher at my school, and I kind of thought, well, why not? Because I had already have um, experienced um, in other initiatives in volunteering, and Youth in Action was youth-led, so I thought that was really interesting. So I kind of said, let's do it. So I joined, and yeah. What is the main goal and purpose for somebody that is listening to this program and they don't know about Youth in Action? So Youth in Action is basically a youth-led volunteer group, and our focus is, for this year, um, a UN sustainability goal, which is focusing on sustainability and responsible consumption. So we've created um, events and activities around the community for people to participate in and join in on to create more conversation and action for sustainability and responsible consumption. It's interesting because you are, how old are you, my friend? I am 16. 16? Yeah. Oh, my goodness. So, um, to be aware of consumption and to make other teenagers that in your age to be aware of that, how do, you, how, do you, how do you transfer that? What your parents say, what your friends say about it? Is it easy to get into that point? Are you infor giving information to them? You're invited to them to come? how they can integrate in a more like easy way to say, yeah, I agree. It's not, it's not good to mass producing everything out there and fashion and producing mm -hmm. thousands of pieces and we don't know what to do later with them. Yeah, so I think um, responsible consumption has to do with the personal role. There's a lot of things like bigger powers have to do, but there, one thing that we can control is how much we're consuming at a personal level. Like for example, um, fashion. We're doing a clothing clothing drive, and we want people to realize that clothing can be donated and reused and thrifted. And that was also um, what a main theme in our um, panel discussion. But fashion is just one of the items that um, I think we can cut down less on for consumption. But yeah. So that's one of your goals for 2023. Yeah. So our goal is basically just raise awareness, conversation, and initiative and action and just start things going for responsible consumption and sustainability in this community, but yeah. So this um, volunteer position is, is new to you or do you, how long has been, uh, been you participating with them? I first interviewed in, I believe, June, and then we had um, volunteer stuff over the summer and then we really started to get going um, around this school year, so then um, it's like September, but um, we all interviewed and we all got the position. There are six of us. I see if somebody is watching the program now and they wanted to participate, how they can collaborate or be part of this Youth in Action program? Well, viewers are really important and people who participate is, that's really vital for us because we want people to, that's like the main goal of raising awareness. So you can like, watch our panel discussion and have more knowledge about responsible consumption and in the different businesses that we had going on with um, our panel speakers. Um, you can also donate to our do um, clothing drive and you can also um, participate in this challenge we have called Pie in the Face Challenge. It, and that is basically, um, we have like kind of a race, I guess, to see who uh, raises the most, but the items are um, like, with each like influential figure around the community. So we have Mayor Brad West, and he is, I believe, for socks. And then we have um, Jennifer Wright is with, um, I believe... Chamber of Commerce. Yes, I she am is. I the Chamber of Commerce. I yeah. with them. I am happy to hear that we are participating in that yeah. sense. Yes. Yeah, and she has, she's got um, gloves. And then we have Mira Batia, and she is with hats. 
So oh, whoever gets the most donations will receive a pie in the face. Oh, wow. <laughs> For, yeah. So tell me, where they, people can get the donations? What is the place? So you have different areas that they can yeah. drop by? So we have, um, we're collecting donations at Glen Pine Pavilion in Coquitlam Center area. And we'll be doing that on f February 25th, March 11th and 25th. Perfect. From 1 to 3. 130 to 3. 130 yes. to 3? Yes. So if I wanted to see mm -hmm. some of them to receive a pie on the face, I need to donate more of Yeah, that that's model. exactly that, yeah. This this will be something that needs to be brand new or can be re like donation, like something that I had at home? Yeah, as long as we're taking anything, as long as it's not like worn down and like Okay. Just not like unwearable. Because you are also promoting recycling. Yes. Perfect. So that's all friend, part of consumption. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. It's important that everybody, you know, you had sometimes extra and you mm -hmm. don't know what to do. Yeah. And sometimes you don't like the color anymore. So just bring them to Megan, you and the team uh, to support the challenge. And, you know, it's important that we recycle. I believe yes. in recycling. Yes. I believe in, in reuse and and give away things that we are no longer um, yeah. needing anymore, but we can share with other people. Exactly, yeah. So, Megan, what do you like the most about being a member and volunteering with you in action? Um, I take pride in that I know I'm doing something for the future and taking that I'm doing something positively for the future. Um, I also really enjoy my group that I have. We're all very close and we all work really well together. But I think it's important that taking initiative for something that I know is impacting the world around us, I think that's really important. And being a part of that feels really good. You know, I all the time call myself, I am an eco green, ecological person. And I feel that I am part of that because I like to recycle. I am all the time giving donations, you know, mm -hmm. and especially to the hospice uh, place, a thrifty store that we have close by. Mm -hmm. So I believe in that mentality that we need to take that responsibility in how to be make your world more clean. Mm -hmm. I think one of the ways is not to produce, you know. Yeah. A, a lot of things that we don't need it. Yeah. Just for selling, you know. Yeah. So I am so grateful to meet you and Thank you. excited for this project. Tell me about the panels. Well, we recently had our panel, which was um, mid-February, specifically February 11th. But that is over now, but it is still watchable. And you can access that through our Instagram, which is at yia.bc in all lowercase. But it's a really good um, like knowledge platform to basically learn about the different industries and just have a more awareness of what other people are doing and what you could be doing for responsible consumption and sustainability. But yeah. What is the other way that our community can support um, your goal for this year? Is any place that they can go and donate? Is Yeah. Yeah, so other than the events we have, we have a GoFundMe, which can be also accessed through our Instagram. Um, we would love to raise more money so we could have more flexibility in what we do. Okay, what would be the ideal donation or help that you can receive for any of our views? What would be the ideal for your organization at this point? Um, well, we have, we have about $500 right now, but we would love to raise more. I think our next goal would be 700 just to have more flexibility and space to move around with money and renting like out um, um, events because we need a place to have the pie in the face challenge, so yeah. Okay, so my friends out there, you hear uh, Megan, she's uh, inspired for this mission, like to keep our world more clean and reuse things. And all of you are voluntary, yes? Yes. So who is the organization that is supporting these um, um, events and all this idea? We volunteer underneath um, CVC Community Volunteer Connections. So those, those, those are the uh, ones that like um, kind of, I guess, manage us, but we're kind of still youth led. We're just kind of under them. Oh, good, good, good. So thank you for being in our program. Yeah. I am so inspired to see you at 16 years old, uh, being a great ambassador too 
for our community and help or helping our community to be more aware. So my friends out there, uh, please help Megan and all the volunteers in this community to support her cause. And I believe in that. I believe that we can keep our world more safe, more clean, and more beautiful for us and for our children. So thank you for being with us today. And thank you, Megan. I hope next time you come and you bring some pictures and yes. help me who received the pie in the face. Yeah. <laughs> okay. See you until the next time. Have a great, really, family time. Bye-bye.